Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the semiconductor industry of India and why India's semiconductor manufacturing industry is yet to take off. As we all know that the biggest problem which is lying in our country with respect to semiconductor is the manufacturing of semiconductor within our own country. So, let us first look at the timeline, first about the news, then what are the challenges for India when it comes to the manufacturing of semiconductors, then about India's stand in the semiconductor market, what is it, then countries producing semiconductors and we will also be knowing about what are the initiatives which Indian government has taken il till now to promote the manufacturing of semiconductors in our own country. In the end, a means practice question. This topic is of relevance from general studies paper 2 that is government policies. So, from exam perspective, semiconductors topic is becoming more and more important because throughout the year this remains in news because of Atmanirbhar Bharat, then manufacturing setup in India, then about China's perspective in it. So, let's get started and the news has been taken from the Indian Express and it says why India's semiconductor manufacturing industry is yet to take off. What is the reason that the manufacturing industry inside India, the manufacturing of semiconductors in our own country is not able to take off. We are not able to produce for the requirement of our own people for the manufacturing of semiconductors and we are totally dependent on the import of semiconductors from outside countries like China, South Korea, Taiwan and etc. So, first of all, we need to know that why semiconductors are so important. What are semiconductors? So, semiconductors is, is a device which you can say that is being used in laptops or computers through which the laptops or computers are able to run. So, it is an it has some electrical properties which make the equipments or the electrical appliances work and this is kind of a prerequisite for, for laptops or computers or any kind of electrical appliances. So, India's ambition of manufacturing semiconductor chips seem to have run into a wall because few of the projects which was going on within India uh, about the manufacturing of semiconductors and was about to give boost to the India's efforts to manufacture semiconductors in our own country are, are seeing some hurdles and it is being seen that in the coming months these kind of initiatives is not going to start. It might take some time for them to start because they are seeing many type of hurdles. They are not able to get the proper technology, then the bureaucratic hurdles are there. And then other many kind of hurdles like capital investments etc. Then three entities have had applied to build the chips are all facing hurdles in setting up the plants. So till now there are three different companies who have applied but three of them are not able to process the manufacturing of semiconductors in India. Impacting the country's ambitious target of becoming a global semiconductor hub in the next five years. As India is looking to become a semiconductor hub in the coming times or in the coming 5 years or 5 to 10 years, but for that we need to focus on the manufacturing of semiconductors in our own country. But this hurdle which the, which the companies who are about to process the manufacturing of semiconductors in our own country are going through, this might delay India's push for semiconductors. Then Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology announced that it will reopen the window for applying to its rupees 76,000 crore semiconductor manufacturing plan. So the bidding for the semiconductor manufacturing plan worth rupees 76,000 crores would again reopen and any company who wants to apply for the manufacturing of semiconductors in India can do that. After the first window failed to attract any major names, Semiconductors market to be worth 63 billion by the year 2026. So, it is a industry which is booming and it is a industry which is the need of the hour and India needs to focus majorly on it because we are completely dependent on the import of semiconductors. Till now, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technologies have received three proposals to set up a FAB. FAB is, FAB stands for 
fabrication or production in the country. So, whenever we use the word fab in case of semiconductors, it means fabrication unit. Fabrication unit is a unit, a place where the fabrication or the making or the production of semiconductors take place. So, the, the quantity or the units of fab in our country is very less and the three entities which were making efforts to manufacture semiconductor in our country but are seeing hurdles are Vedanta Foxconn Joint Venture, International Consortium ISMC which included Israel based Tower Semiconductor and Singapore based IGSS Ventures. So, these three entities are now seeing hurdles and would be delaying their manufacturing in our country and because of which India's push for semiconductor would also get delayed. Now, let us talk about the challenges which India is facing when it comes to the manufacturing or the production of semiconductors in our own country. First and foremost, high investment required as creation of semiconductors require capital investment and the investment needs to be very high because of the specialized equipment that is needed for the manufacture of semiconductors and then specialized workforce is needed, a large fabrication unit is needed. So, because of which high investments is required and which is one of the biggest hurdle in the semiconductor industry. Then lack of fabrication capacities, because of very high investments, the fabrication capacities in our country are not able to be built properly because of which the manufacturing and the production of semiconductors is not taking place. Then minimal fiscal support from the government. At present point of time, the, the manufacturing of semiconductors in our country is getting delayed because first of all, it is a very specialized industry. Second, we need capital investment in it. In it. Third, the gestation period is very large and huge. So, because of which we need a support from the government and the support which is given by the government at present is not up to the mark. So, it has been said that more capital support needs to be given from the end of the government. Then resource inefficient sector because the resource is very much required in the manufacture of semiconductors because of which the delay or the hurdles are also being seen in the manufacturing of semiconductors like for example, millions of liters of clean water is required, extremely stable power supply is required and a lot of land and highly skilled workforce. So, land is also one of the problems in our country that the allocation of land is not easily done. Then India's stand in the semiconductor market, where does India stand and what are the steps taken by the Indian government till now to support or to give boost to the manufacturing or the production of semiconductors within our own country. So, India currently imports all chips and the market is estimated to touch USD 100 billion by the year 2025 from 24 billion now. So, look at the difference. It is now around 24 billion, but it has been predicted that it will touch 100 billion by 2025 and 2025 is not much far away. So, this is a very good fact for you to remember as this shows the potential of the semiconductor industry in the market. Then Union Cabinet has allocated an amount of rupees 76,000 crore in 2021 for supporting the development of a semiconductor and display manufacturing ecosystem. So, government is trying its level best to give support for the manufacture and production of the semiconductors in our country. So, it's in the last five years, we will we would be able to see that the, it can, that the Union Cabinet and the government is trying its level best to launch as many initiatives as they can. Then a scheme for promotion of manufacturing of electronic computers and semiconductors also called SPECS was also launched by the government. Then in the year 2020, one production linked incentive scheme was also launched for the manufacturing of semiconductors because it is production linked. So, the production has to be done. Then in 2021, design linked incentive scheme was also launched for the production and manufacturing of semiconductor so that the designing of the semiconductor can get a boost. Then India's own consumption of semiconductors is expected to cross USD 80 billion by the year 2026 and to USD 110 billion by the year 2030. So, this shows that in a developing country like India where there is huge population 
and with each passing day and with each pa each passing time we could see that the requirements for laptops computers chips and electrical appliances keeps on increasing as the world is becoming more automated nowadays so the requirement for more specialized appliances would also increase and that is why the market would also increase in india now the country is producing semiconductors as india is not a part of it and we are trying that for what is the need of our own people and our own country we would be able to produce at least half of it but as of now the situation is not that good in our country so we are de totally dependent on the import of semiconductors and the countries which are which are highest exporter of semiconductors are taiwan south korea japan united states and china and the one of the concerns for india is that it is china which is becoming the biggest exporter of semiconductors even after having their own problems and challenges which has been faced by the china but still china is one of the largest exporters of semiconductors and as a country we import a lot from china so de being dependent on a single exporter is also not good from india's perspective now in the end a means practice question so you people can do your answer writing practice and i'm giving you an easy one and a very basic one it is a 10 marker question so try to do your answer writing practice and it says why is it important for india to build its own semiconductor capacity so what are the reasons that india needs to build its own semiconductor capacity and do not depend on the import that they presently are so first of all you can write that what are semiconductors then what are the important properties of semiconductors why it, is it required what steps india can take to build its own manufacturing or production capacity for semiconductors that is atmanirbhar bharat so try to do your answer writing practice and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing